Dengue fever, an infectious disease transmitted by mosquitoes, continues to be global health concern. In this video, we'll explore the cause, signs and symptoms, diagnosis, prevention and treatment of dengue fever. Dear friends, welcome back to RJH Healthcare Channel. Dengue fever is caused by the dengue virus which is primarily transmitted to humans through the bite of infected Aedes mosquitoes. These mosquitoes are most active during the day and they are the day biters, particularly in tropical and subtropical countries. These mosquitoes breed in clean stagnant water like refrigerator water, AC outlet water, stagnated water after the rain specially. Dear friends, let's see now what are the signs and symptoms of dengue fever. The signs and symptoms of dengue fever can vary from mild to severe. Common symptoms include high fever, severe headache, pain behind the eyeballs, joint and muscle pain, rash and mild bleeding from the nose and gums. In severe cases, platelet may fall to very low level and patient may suffer from hemorrhagic shock due to bleeding from various regions. In some cases, there may be jaundice due to dengue hepatitis. So a person may commonly, most commonly in the pediatric age group, we may notice that subcostal, right side subcostal tenderness, this is where the liver is. When we press here, there will be tenderness in this region. Rarely it may affect meninges leading to meningitis and other organs in rare cases. Rarely it is fatal due to complications like hemorrhagic shock. Now let's see how do we diagnose this disease other than the signs and symptoms what are the diagnostic tools that we use to diagnose. Doctors typically perform a combination of clinical evaluation and laboratory tests. Blood tests such as complete blood count which includes WBC count, RBC count and platelets. In particular we do platelet count and PCV. Dengue antibodies. Please watch my previous video to know how this antibody test is done. And in some cases, polymerase chain reaction test. This test, these tests can help confirm the presence of dengue virus in a person's blood or to say whether the person is infected with the dengue virus. Preventing the dengue virus primarily involves controlling the mosquito population and avoiding the mosquito bites. Here are some preventive measures you can take. Eliminate the mosquito breeding sites by removing stagnant water sources such as flower pots, old tires and containers. You can also clear off the larvae by putting some kind of fish, larvivorous fishes like gambusia. Use mosquito repellents containing DWT -E on exposed skin. Wear protective clothing such as long sleeves and pants particularly during peak mosquito activity. Install window and door screens to keep mosquitoes out of your living spaces. Now let's see after seeing how we diagnose let's see how do we treat these people. We all know that it's a viral disease. There's no specific antiviral treatment for dengue fever as of now. So the treatment focuses managing symptoms. It's all symptomatic management and providing su supportive care. It is crucial to rest, drink plenty of fluids and take paracetamol to reduce fever under medical guidance to reduce fever and alleviate discomfort. In severe cases, hospitalization may be required, close monitoring of any adverse events to monitor platelets, intravenous fluid administration and in some cases platelet transfusion based on the level of platelets. Most of the cases can be treated on OPD basis. By understanding the cause, signs and symptoms, diagnosis, prevention and treatment of dengue fever, we can take proactive steps to protect ourselves and our communities from this potentially debilitating disease. Remember, prevention is key in the fight against dengue fever. So I hope you are more informed. You like my video. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Tata, bye bye. Stay safe. Stay healthy. See you.